<clears throat> Hi, everybody, and welcome to TWF Impact Wrestling. Today we have the direct the, we have the director of wrestling operations, Peter Long, in the ring, and he's got an announcement. Okay, everybody, Peter Long here. Moon and 
Ernest P. Worrell and Godzilla and Angel before you. We all think that you were doing a good job as a director of wrestling operations. You know, we didn't mean any, any disrespect. But, Cena says, you're talking about the number one contender, right? Do we're about to name the championship committee's number one contender. Yes, I certainly was, Cena. Well, guess what? I have already came up with that number one contender, and I'm sure the people in the executive committee will be happy to know who that number one contender will be. Now, I am being very generous, so I'm going to give the number one contendership to a man who has been in the Toy Wrestling Federation since 2011 AD. A man who is very recognizable. A man who, believe it or not, happens to be a, a close family member. A man who has gotten, who has, regardless of his television series or his television commercials or his motion pictures, I will give my son, Gabrielle's brother, Ernest P. Worrell, road agent, a chance for the TWF World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, geez, Mom, thanks, Ernest said. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy you gave me the number one contendership. Okay, that ain't going to work, Cena. You know? That's not going to work. There's no way that I'm going to sit here and let you make him the number one contender. Oh, you didn't get me. No way are you going to try to pass off Ernest P. Worrell as the number one contender. You hear me? Theodore, we're good friends, Ernest says. Yeah, we might be good friends, bro, player, but you ain't the number one contender. Yeah, he is. Oh, you're knocking me over. You're knocking me over. No. How about the man that you threw out of the building on Monday Night Raw? Yeah, I wasn't there, but I happened to see it. John Cena. Wait a minute. John Cena's going to be the number one contender? John Cena's the number one contender. And here's how it plays, Cena. Since you named Ernest P. Worrell as the number one contender, Flea, I'm going to name John Cena going to burst Ernest P. Worrell. And whoever wins from that, Cena, will then be your number one contender. Holla, holla, holla. Well, you can see the match is going to be started be John Cena bursting Ernest P. Worrell here. I mean, seriously, what was Zena thinking? You would think that she would want a very, you think that Zena would want a great challenge. But unfortunately, it looks like she must be resting on her morals. And where's the referee at? We ain't going through the gym where the referee band is in. Here he is. Singing. John? I'm, I'm one of your greatest friends. John, we've been friends. We've been friends since you came to WWE in 2002, AD. I'm the one that felt to Jim Ross to bring you. I'm the one that told Jim Ross to bring you up. I'm sure you are, Ernest P. Worrell, but your mother's put you in a difficult position to make you number one contender. Hey, look! Major, look! Boop! Ah! Hey! I got him pinned! I got him pinned! No, you don't. You don't. Can I do the atomic drop? Oh! His cap fell off. 
Ernest P. Worrell tried to do the atomic drop like he did in Ernest Goes to School, and just like in the movie, he fell down. Uh, uh, oh, attitude adjustment. I'm sorry, Ernest. I really am. Probably not the shot. Ernest P. Wardle's hat keeps on coming off. And now John Cena's got him up again in the attitude adjustment. He's got him in the, T the FTF. The FTF. John Cena's got to tap out. Ernest P. Wardle tapped out. Ding, 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 ding. Here is your winner and the number one contender to the TWF. World Heavyweight Championship, John Cena. So John Cena has won the number one contendership. John Cena has beat Ernest P. Worrell here. You know, John Cena's beat Ernest P. Worrell here to become the number one contender for the TWF World Heavyweight Championship. And wait a minute, here's Gabrielle in the ring. I don't know why she's back. And here's Zena back in the ring. We don't know why she's back. John, congratulations, Zena says. You beat my son, Ernest P. Worrell, to become the number one contender to the TWF World Heavyweight Championship. But, John, don't you think that that was kind of sad? I mean, Ernest, my son... Gabrielle's brother, he's good, but wouldn't you have been more better if you would have burst someone tougher? Wouldn't it have been better if you would have burst someone who could at least put up a fight? You know, people criticize me for giving my son, a road agent, Ernest P. World, a number one contendership. But they're going to criticize Peter Long for naming John Cena bursting Ernest P. World. So, John, if you want to get by the number one contendership, you have the first Gabrielle. Wait a minute. Zena just reversed it to Zena just playing, making a role that she's going. And where's the referee at? I mean, seriously, you want to know where the referee's at, don't you? The referee should be in the ring. And he should be vulnerating what's going on. And Tang, the matchmaker, he should be out here too. Explain to me, Zena, why you're doing this, cutting these things. Why you're taking cheap shots. Why you're taking cutting corners. I mean, whatever respect that people may have had for you is starting to wilder now. Are you a heel or not? I am not a heel. Here comes Kang now. Oh, God, what's Kang doing here? He's the matchmaker. He's not doing here. Well, Gabrielle got her fighting staff. Oh, she just nailed John Cena with it. The fighting staff is legal. She gets nailed him with it. Uh-oh. John Cena got, uh-oh, John Cena is finally picking up Gabrielle. He's going to put her in the attitude adjustment. Will it happen? Oh, shock him to the face. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, my God. we got to get the referee's decision. The referee saw the shock him hit John Cena in the face, and John Cena has been disqualified here. Well, John, that's what you get. Well, Zena's back in the ring again. John, that's what you get for putting your hand in your, on, on Gabrielle. How dare you do that to her? Oh, you're a big man, John. Big man for attacking my daughter. I'm okay, mother. I'm all right. 
Everything's okay. Yeah, you're a big man for it. You're a big man for attacking my daughter. Kane, would you come in here and help me out here? I guess Zena's turning heel. She got John Cena. Oh! Kane just choke slammed John Cena. And when he did, Gabrielle fell the ring because the action figure twin handle the impact of hitting the ring. And now they're having problems. They ain't up again. Now they're getting out of the ring. I hate that ring, Gabrielle. And I hate it, Mom. We can't stand up in that ring. You fell down multiple times, Mom. That ring's trying to get you busted. Yeah. I hate that ring, too. But it's the only Monday Night Raw ring we currently have. I mean, it's not like we can keep going around using the SmackDown ring all the time. People are going to start saying, wait a minute, you're saying Monday Night Raw, but the SmackDown ring. Uh-oh. He came. He just tombstone pal drove John Cena. And Peter Long as the matchmaker finally come in the ring to try to restore order with the referee now. Kang, if you don't leave now, playa, consider yourself fired. Kang has finally left the ring, but after he choke slammed and tombstone pal driven John Cena, will John Cena be okay here, folks? And the other question on, on our opinion poll is, do you think Xena win heel? If anyone who saw, in, saw NXT or Monday Night Raw, let us know if you think John Cena, you think that, if you think that Xena's going heel. Well, that's all the time we got for Impact Wrestling. We hope you enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow for Thursday Night Smackdown.